Hey everybody, it's Ms. Dietrich helping you on Lesson 2.9, which is on Divide Mixed Numbers. The directions, estimate, then write the quotient in simplest form. We're going to take a look at number 2. Now let's first think about what our estimate would be. This, uh, let's take a look at this first. Usually it's a good habit to start by rounding the divisor. This is awfully close to the number 1, and this is awfully close to the number 3. 3 divided by 1 would be 3. Our estimate is 3, so why don't we put that down somewhere. Let's put it down. We'll put an E, and then we'll put like a little 3 next to it. All right, so now we have to find the actual answer. Now, step 1 is to change any whole or mixed numbers into improper fractions. So let's take a look at what that would look like. This is going to be something thirds, and this is going to be something thirds. All right, to change this into an improper fraction, we have to multiply the denominator by the whole number, which would be 6, and then add in the numerator, which would be 8. Now to find the improper fraction equivalent of the divisor, we're going to do denominator times the whole number, which would be 3, and then add in the numerator, which would be 4. And some teachers like to use this little phrase, keep, change, flip. Keep the dividend. We're going to keep that the same. We're going to change the division to multiplication. And we're going to flip the divisor to its reciprocal. In other words, keep the dividend, multiply that by the reciprocal of the divisor. All right, and then you're just going to follow the rules for multiplication. So if you have any cross-reducing or what some teachers refer to as a pre-reducing opportunity, then you should go ahead and take it. So, for example, we have an opportunity to reduce here. The GCF of this numerator and this denominator is 4, so let's divide both of these by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1. We have another reducing opportunity between this number and this number. The GCF of these two numbers is 3, so let's divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And now we're ready to go across and take our newly reduced numbers, which are much more user-friendly. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. So our actual answer is 2. All right, so our estimate was 3. We should probably put the little symbol for estimate. And our actual answer was 2. <coughs> Let's take a look at number 3. Step one is to change any whole or mixed numbers into improper fractions. Now remember, 2 is equal to 2 over 1. All right, so this is going to be something eighths. To get the something, we're going to multiply this times this, which is 24, and then add in the 5. 24 plus 5 is 29. So again, we took the denominator, multiplied it by the whole number, and then we added in the numerator. All right, and then we're going to say to ourselves, keep, change, flip. We're going to keep the dividend. Let's rewrite it. We're going to change this to multiplication. And we're going to use the reciprocal of this, 8 over 29. All right, now we're going to look for any kind of cross-reducing or pre-reducing opportunities. Now, some people get confused and they think they can reduce here, but they you have to, it has to be a numerator and a denominator if you're going to reduce. So that means we don't have any reducing opportunities. So let's go right across. 2 times 8 is 16. 1 times 29 is 29. The GCF of our numerator and our denominator is 1, so we can be satisfied that we're in simplest form. So that's going to be our final answer. Now if we kind of think about the estimate on this, if we were to do 2 divided by, let's say we're going to round this to 4, right? 2 divided by 4, or 2 divided by 4. Isn't that kind of close to a half if we simplify that? Now, isn't this kind of close to a half? Because if this were 15 and this were 30, that would be equal to a half. So that means our estimate and our actual answer kind of match up, so we can be pretty satisfied that we're correct. All right, hopefully you found this helpful. Go ahead and finish up the rest for homework.